Meat. Here we go. Okay. So, I just bludgeoned Jesus to death with a stick of meat. I can only assume that in a couple of days he's gonna be looking for me, so we are just gonna start running now. What's up guys, welcome back to Paint the Town Red. Uh, that game where you're just as likely to get punched in the taint by a little pimp as you were to get stomped on by a giant hoe. And if you're into that kind of thing, I'm not trying to judge, okay? I'm just saying the game is an endless sandbox of possibilities. And today, we're gonna continue exploring some of the messed up stuff people have been making. Our first level is called Factory 1-80.2. Not the most descriptive name for a place, but the thing is, with factories in this game, they could be making toilets, they could be making Terminators. Like, we have no idea. All we know for sure is that it's not gonna end well for us. So I've managed to secure a job interview. I think it went well, I'm pretty sure I got the position, which should make it a whole lot easier for us to take the place down from the inside. And you can't actually hear me right now. This is all inner monologue. You just continue enjoying your cigars and that super strong mustache. I'm going to get to work. You're not gonna shove that baton up my butt sideways because I don't have security clearance, right? Like, I haven't been issued a card yet, but your twin brother did just interview me. I'm gonna assume this isn't gonna be a problem. You've gotta be kidding me right now. <laughs> Better yet, why would you leave your assault rifles fully loaded? That seems like a huge mistake. It's my first day on the job and I'm already gonna get written up. HR is gonna have an absolute shit bit. Oh, you didn't care. Did I just surprise them? Were they changing or something? <laughs> really sorry about that boss. Uh, hopefully there are more people waiting for interviews. Nope. Nope, not a whole lot of interest right now. You guys might want to do some kind of campaigning, advertising, I don't know, either way. I'm just gonna continue making your jobs a whole lot easier. Uh, excuse me. I don't really want to ride on your bald head right now. You guys run a very weird operation here at Mustache Twins Incorporated. I guess we'll just see what it is you're making. You got a whole bunch of security. Okay, calm, calm down. Everyone calm down. Man, oh man, guns in this game are ridiculous. Are you kidding me? They, they are making Terminators. I mean, it was a safe assumption, but still. I can't believe I called that. Let me guess. Oh yeah, of course they're electrically insulated. Well, I'm just gonna have to shoot everybody. Assume you're all Terminators. That one definitely was. Why would they give these things a layer of soft, warm flesh? Oh, crap. Don't tell me these were bang bots. I never got any kind of information in the interview. I'm sorry. He says while bludgeoning them to death. I, I can still apologize. I'm Canadian. Oh, no. Look, a, a Terminator and a bang bot looks the exact same when you don't have any skin on them. I thought I was just falling stairs or... Uh, Bit strange. What's going on down here? I mean, I technically had it coming. Is it a safe assumption that your products are supposed to be taken from behind, not your employees? Somebody just walloped my butts. <laughs> really don't appreciate that. What happened to your brother? Or better yet, what happened to his mustache? Are you okay? <laughs> I'm just gonna go in here again, borrow this, and then try to be a little bit more sparing with the ammo. Could you guys just, uh, maybe not? There we go. A little tickle in everyone's ear, and we're all fine. Oh, by the way, I quit. <laughs> yeah, screw it. I'm done with the, the facade. I was about to say the charade, the charade. I'm done with words, shooty goody now. I'm guessing you're some kind of really early prototype, but you're not all that attractive. I'm seeing a bunch of strange holes on you, but not the holes you would expect from a bang bond. <laughs> Here's another hole for you. There we go. Now, let's see what's going on down here. Probably want to snipe the big guy. There we go. Doesn't matter how big you are when it comes to bullets. If anything, it's a detriment. It makes it easier for you to get hit. Seven people left. Definitely have seven bullets. Did I say people? Might have the bang bot boss. Oh dear. What's that? Loop storage, okay, okay, well, boss down, boss down, got him. 
<laughs> yeah, it's weird that they have squishy insides and metallic outsides. Usually it's supposed to be the other way around. <laughs> this place has no idea what they're doing. It's a good thing they hired me on. I've got a whole bunch of ideas. Was that, oh, okay. I think I destroyed their loop. Now we're gonna have very dry robots. <laughs> Tremendous success. I think we saved the future. Or not. Like the entire idea behind taking out that factory was that I was preparing for the future. We're all preparing to visit the future when you really think about it, but I thought if we got rid of all the bang bots in the past, then there wouldn't be any bang bots in the future. But apparently, I am sorely mistaken. Especially sore considering I burnt all their lube. Are you guys cool? I think they might be cool. Or they're just recharging from their killing protocol. Huh. Hate the town red characters in the future look real weird. They don't look like they're from this game. They look like they're Roblox characters <laughs> that are covered in pepperoni. Those are probably bullet holes. Futuristic bang bot bullet holes. Hopefully it was bullets and not something else. Ooh. Can I maybe borrow some of this? Do I go with the harpoon gun? The crazy katana? Really, we're using AK-47s in the future? Still? They're dated today, but I guess. <laughs> you guys still recharging? That's not good. You, that's that's real not good. You do not want bullets <laughs> bouncing off your bang bots. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave them to recharge, I think. Hey, you're all dead still. Crap, crappity crap, crap. Okay, uh, I'm tripping over bodies. That looks helpful. This is really impressive. <laughs> Gotta say, this maybe close something, lower something, anything? Ah, oh, come on. Well, uh, yep. Yep, this is not the future I was hoping for. Crap. <gasps> I really did think I was doing good. Oh, living people. Maybe? Are you alive? You're, you're shooting at them. Cool. That's... Really impressive. Again, these guys look super weird. <laughs> Should I be shooting too? Still doing less than nothing. I didn't see the giant hippo mech next to them. Holy crap. <laughs> Don't shoot me. I'm just coming out to check. Wow. Yeah, that is definitely worth checking out. Look at how cool this stuff is. <laughs> what, am I not good enough to get banged? What's happening right now? Well, clearly, you guys are losing. Whoa. Yeah, some serious Terminator vibes right now. Super cool. Okay, I'm just gonna go down this way. This level is mind-blowing, but I'm really hoping I get to shoot something soon. Okay, you look like the type that may want to bang me. Future Samurai! Yeah. Cyberpunk. <laughs> It's like some kind of weird futuristic reality TV show with Ashton Kutcher. You ready to get cyberpunked? That's what I thought. There we go. Why are my bullets so good and theirs aren't? Oh wait, they're not shooting bullets, they're shooting water. Is this some kind of weird futuristic googly-eyed water fight? Oh, hey, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Why did two of those bounce off your head? I didn't even take any damage there. Weird. Everything about this is super strange. Gas, gas, gas. So was this an Esso or a Taco Bell? Can't be certain. <laughs> no useful signage around. I guess we'll just keep on trucking. Open to find survivors. No, I don't think they survived. That looks like a bunch of children's skulls. <laughs> I assume children because of the playground, but who knows? This is completely insane. I don't know where I'm supposed to be right now. I feel, oh, here we go. We'll just follow the shootable breadcrumbs. <laughs> Hi, cyberpunk. I'm gonna have to pick up one of those knives you got there. Are they katanas? They kind of look like katanas. I'll have to pick up one of your future katana knives, but right now, as long as I got bullets, we'll just keep rolling with those. Oh, oh, resistance. Hi, I'm not gonna shoot you. You actually took, oh crap. Were these guys resistance too? 
Did they forget to equip their smiley faces over their heads? No, probably not. I think you're a scout hiding up there. Cool. Okay, well, if that's the case, then I might encounter a resistance army soon. No, humans with tight buttholes. Still, still remaining? Probably not. Everybody's going to be loosey-goosey. Oh, no, no, we definitely found some resistance. Listen, dude, I don't think the wet puddle is what you really need to worry about right now. I would be more concerned with moving the head. For a terrifying dystopian future, you guys sure do have a whole bunch of cheeseburgers. <laughs> and beer to waste, I suppose. Everybody spilled their beer. Maybe before they took off from the... Are you kidding me right now? Should you not be wearing pants? Like, I, I really feel if there was any future where you should be wearing pants, Fluffles, it's right now. <laughs> it's good to see you manage to find a beer in the meantime. I, I guess I'll just leave you here. Stay safe. Stay away from everything that's happening over this way. Holy crap, that is a large and in-charge robot. Are you kidding me? That thing's the size of a city block. <laughs> uh, what are you looking at? Yeah, stay, stay away from Fluffles. Okay, some of them are finished recharging. That's fine. I am a sharpshooter today. <laughs> We're good. Yeah, th these ones are, are, are still, maybe they're low on lube. They went on like a, a tin man mode. Can't really move. They need to get oiled up just a little bit. They're still super impressive. Go to the tower to destroy the HK tank and head to inside the factory. Is this the same factory that I just tried to destroy in the past and it clearly didn't work out all that well? I'm assuming that right there would be the tower, and you are probably the HK tank. I uh, probably don't want you to see me, do I? <laughs> Let's just sneak our way up to the tower. I don't know what could be in this tower to destroy that thing, but <laughs> if it's written on a wall, it has to be true. Hi. Uh, are you a woman? It's a little hard to tell. Is a dystopian future full of bang bots a bad time to hit on you? <laughs> I'm just gonna hit the button and hope that that kills the thing. Oh, yeah, it killed the thing. I think that button may have also vaporized your chair. Sorry about that. Maybe you'd like to get up now, you know, grab your futuristic space rifle and come with me. We could maybe even find another one on one of the bodies lying around and arm fluffles and the janitor and every other person that I've come across. <laughs> You know, resist. We could really use a little help against all the robots. Okay, that's probably the factory, I would assume. Let's see if we can get over here. Oh, no. Didn't vaporize the chair. Just tossed it over here. She's still technically sitting on it, I think. So that's probably the factory that I don't want to go to right now. Yeah, not all that interested in that. What do we have in the trailer next to the factory? Oh, there's all my desire to go in there. I see. <laughs> all right, fine. I guess we'll head inside, follow the arrow, and see what's going on in here. Uh, hi. Nice to meet you. Again, are you a woman? Y you got hair and bangs like a woman. You got a couple of hefty sized bang bots next to you. <laughs> You're walking with quite the gait. Just saying. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna assume not gonna do a whole lot. Okay, well, I'm really sorry for killing your great, great, great grandson. Or your great, great, great grandfather, technically. I'm all over the place. Hey, I have a neckbeard friend. Very green eyes. Yeah, I, uh, I definitely killed some mustache ancestor of hers and didn't seem to matter all that much. Didn't save the future. Okay, hold on. I, I'll deal with this. I got him. No, you can just sit there with your katana. Don't don't get it dirty. <laughs> five headshots, five kills. Man, I am good. Technically six headshots, five kills if you consider the lady on the way in. What is going on with this floor? Is it is it wet? Okay, listen, I'm not wet, so you can all just back it up. Not interest not interested. Not interested. No means no. I went back to see if that lady was interested in talking to me and my friend took off. I would assume through here. How were they doing this stuff? There were like huge lasers in front of this, wasn't there? 
Whoever made this is really pushing the boundaries of this game. Okay, listen. Bad news, guys. I realize that I've got infinite ammo, so technically, I'm not gonna get overwhelmed. It is real easy to pick you guys off in the forehead. They made you with oddly large heads for bang bots. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. You just keep firing your water janitor bots. I'm sure you'll clean this up sooner rather than later. Don't push me with it. Oh. No, no, these ones are, are, are still recharging. Okay, um, well, I guess we're just moving forward. I can't even imagine where this is gonna end. This is such a huge area. Maybe we'll find some resistance in here, possibly? Oh, this is looking promising. Hey, you guys have a dog. Look at him. This is a big, borfy, he kind of looks like a, uh, a German Shepherd. A blocky German Shepherd. Oh yeah, we got multiple doggos. And no fate, very cool, ma'am. Definitely liking that face paint. Oh, this is a awesome. Okay, well, we did find the resistance. That's all that matters. The resistance has guns. I'm gonna go get Fluffles and, and the lady from the tower. She would love this. Oh. Did I forget to download a texture or something like that? Or is that what the bang bots look like from the inside? Yeah, that's probably what they look like from the inside. That bullet deflection. <laughs> it's really something else. I guess we should look around their headquarters? Yeah, yeah, that's definitely one of them. Everything's coming along. Lots of good investigating and sweeping up. I can't believe they thanked me for playing this before I actually played it. That is some meta gameplay right there. I know for a fact that this whole Doomsday like series has a whole bunch of impressive levels, and I've been saving them up, so I am gonna be playing all of them in a video. I, I, I can guarantee that. This was easily one of the best levels I've seen, because like they're not even all textured. Like as far as I could tell, you're a person, but you weren't. Interesting. Oh, I pissed off the resistance. Okay, listen, my name is on the wall. I'm very important. <laughs> Maybe I should go back to the past now before I ruin things even more than I already have. Oh crap, I think I went too far into the past. This is a level called Body and Blood, The Last Supper. And I gotta say, Jesus, depictions of you in the future do not do you justice. They don't depict you as the whole swole savior type being like eight feet tall and having a rippling eight pack. No, you're, you're just kind of a, a twiggy dude on a cross. Why are you all looking at me like that? Why are you looking? Oh, let me guess. I'm about to cause a real big mess and you would be Judas. <laughs> that, that is so clever. I really like that. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. You and I are going to get out of this. I already know that much. I can't believe I was the one to mess with Jesus. I, I mean, I know your body is technically, that that's wine, right? That, 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 that is wine, I'm not losing my mind. Okay, I don't know all of the other ones. Maybe Brian and uh, Steve? Was there a Steve? I can't remember if there was a Steve. Uh, I think maybe a, a William and uh, a, a, a Je Jebediah? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just gonna hit you with meat. John? John? There was definitely a John. One of you was probably a John. Okay. Judas just got Judas right in the lips. I don't think that's how that was supposed to go. I am definitely altering the past right now. As you can probably tell, I kind of assumed that I was the one who did all this. Okay, now it's just me and you. And I probably need to put you down a couple of times, right? I, I think you have a tendency of getting back up. Oh, come on. I don't have anything to go after his legs. I, I just gotta kind of like meet, meet, meet. There we go. Okay, so I just bludgeoned Jesus to death with a stick of meat. I can only assume that in a couple of days he is gonna be looking for me, so we are just gonna start running now. <laughs> it's such a simple level with a simple premise, but it's done so well.
You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Paint the Town Red, you guys. And as always, if you have any recommendations for levels that you'd like to see me play, leave the name of them in the comments so I can search them up on the workshop. There's always new stuff coming out. I'm always interested in playing more. And like I said, I do have more material for more episodes already, like the entire Doomsday series of levels. And uh, I think there are a couple of others that I can't really remember. And I should also say thank you to the Paint the Town Red community. It's always really cool to see that they've adopted my characters, or that they enjoy seeing me play their levels, or that they're making making new levels so that I can keep making videos. No, I, I really do appreciate it. I wouldn't be able to do this stuff without you guys, so I feel like I really do need to recognize that and just be appreciative. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.